According to Caesars, the team with the best odds to come out of the East, it's actually the Milwaukee Bucks. They traded for all world point guard, rather, Damian Lillard. And according to Elias Sports Bureau, Lillard and Giannis are going to become the second pair of teammates in NBA history to play together in a season after each averaged 30 points in a season prior. Can you tell that we got our researcher, Michael Schwartz, back? That was jam-packed with notes, so let's get to the highlight of how it actually looked on the floor when Damian Lillard finally took the court next to Giannis Antetokounmpo. This was across the street last night in Staples, or rather Crypto.com Arena. We're going to start with a little Dame on defense, Ramona. Look, Damian Lillard got out Oof, and Giannis. immediately was double teamed by the Los Angeles Lakers and looked around and said, oh, I get to pass it to Giannis now? Can, you, can we just... They're scary in the open court. Like, I get to pass it to Giannis now. <laughs> can we just take a moment? When you don't watch Giannis play in person yeah. for six months and then getting to see it up close, yep. and then also the gravitational pull that Damian Lillard has, crazy. the attention he requires. <laughs> Damian Lillard explodes through the defense. Everybody's caught up in the screen in the pick and roll right there. Christian Wood, former Milwaukee Buck, not thrilled with that one. Why are we picking on Christian Wood in these highlights? Well, he started on Giannis, so that was a difficult assignment. <laughs> right? He started defensively on Giannis, and then they had Anthony Davis out there on Brooke Lopez. Eventually, they had to switch that up. No, we should mention no LeBron James in this preseason game. I mean, just some bully ball there from Giannis Antetokounmpo. And that's over AD. He's no little guy. Giannis didn't play all summer. People forget this. This is the first time he's get it, been in a game in a while. Well, and then Anthony Davis, though, he had a little something to say. And one. D'Angelo Russell. Oh, back to AD. I mean, Darvin Ham has said they we want to see three, six AD. threes a game. <laughs> Take that thing. Milwaukee gets the win, 108 97. Giannis spoke for 18 minutes yep. after the game. Ow. Here's yep. just a, a soliloquy. <laughs> it, was, it was a surprise. It's a preseason game. <laughs> it's not the playoff game, it's not the regular season game, it's not the uh, end season tournament game. <laughs> Uh, playing games, it's, it's, it's a preseason game, you know, and he was double team, so it's insane, man. First play of the game, first couple plays, and they blitz me, you know, they trap me, and the guy that I'm releasing the ball to is young, <laughs> so I'm just like, <laughs> I, we can do this all night, you know what I mean? Uh, so Giannis is used to being the Bucks player facing a double team. He got that treatment over 18 times per game last season, Ooh. third most in the NBA. But then Dame, he faced 15 double teams per game as well. So now, I mean, you got to imagine some space is going to open up for Giannis. It's going to be a pick your poison situation. So back with Roz, Ramona, and Shanae. Dame and Giannis, they sound excited. Yeah, I love yeah. to kind of hear that, to feel that, to see it in person across the street for their new partnership. Shanae, what did you see in this preseason debut that got you excited for their offensive ceiling? My goodness, this potential pick and roll is so good that we saw a little bit of even a roll reversal. And I'm going to break it down to you because it was so much fun to watch, even in limited minutes. Watch this pick and roll. Giannis sets it. Two will go with Dame. People sag off of Giannis because he's a non-shooter. That's a mistake. He uses his momentum to not just finish, but watch this. He creates a three. It's not Dame shooting threes. It's Giannis now creating threes based off of the space in that pick and roll and another possession right there on the old boards cleanup duty. Here's another pick and roll that I love. Instead of Dame settling for threes, which he could obviously do with these great screens, instead, he slices and dices and wheels to the rim. Dame is now the one finishing at the rim. Giannis is the one generating threes. To me, this was wild because those two guys individually can generate, what, 60 points per game. But the bigger you know, op opportunity is that they could generate so much more for their teammates, which is why I think everyone sees them as favorites in the East. Janae, thank you. So that's the tale of the tape there, Ramona. You were in the building with a front row seat. What impressed you the most? You know, it's like when they've, each of these guys has never played with anybody this good. Like they, it, and they're still kind of in awe of each other, right? They have this feel. Like Giannis even said last last night, he said, I, "I look up to Dame. He's older than me, but also even in practice, little plays where he, you send a double team at him, and he could he could fight through that double team. He doesn't even look to to switch it. He's like, I got this. And he goes, Dame's kind of a quiet guy. He goes about his business in a in a quiet way, almost like a mini me, like mm. the way Giannis goes about his business. And then on the court, he's a killer. And and you you almost feel them getting excited by the prospect of playing with each other because they've never played with anybody who's like them, who has that same mentality.
Yeah, and I, I thought it was kind of fun watching their reactions. They seem incredulous or, or even yeah. just like giggly uh, at the concepts or the types of things that they could create for one another and unlock for one another. Janae did such a beautiful job of breaking down all the pick and roll havoc they're gonna create. Yep. That's just one of the ways. There's so many layers and uh, multiple of ways that they can break down a defense. It could be as simple as keeping them on the same side of the floor. Multiple times last night, Dame's defender isn't leaving him. That's just space. It could be that simple. It could also possibly be using Damian Lillard as the screener. And right now, defenses are going to have to decide, do we have to worry about getting over the top and taking away Dame's three, or worrying about Giannis as the lob and the roll threat? So it's going to be fun watching them figure out how to use the cheat codes they present. Yep. Right, and, and you know, with the pressure that Giannis applied over the summer, that joy to then be on the other side of that, we'll see how it translates and if it translates to regular season wins and even more importantly in the playoffs. But this was an excellent start in preseason.